in keeping with a period piece shot from the 60s, we had to come up with a diverse set of techniques to be able to fit into this movie, which was going to be shot in 16mm and 35mm film. We came up with shooting our craft in front of an LED screen, using archival footage, actually using actual footage which we found, we processed and then put into the movie, and then also using scale miniatures and also special effects. When I first met Damien, he had uh, what he termed his notebook, which basically outlined the entire movie. He had notes on how a particular scene was going to sound and how it was going to look. And Damien also wanted to avoid trying to use any green screen or blue screen. You know, like he wanted to try and get as much in camera as possible. We basically had to redefine what in camera meant. What we came up with was a way in which we could see that computer generated imagery through the camera. So we built this massive 35 foot tall, 60 foot wide diameter uh, LED screen. We actually ended up producing 90 minutes of content for the screen where like, we had to do all the sequences to their entire length. In doing that, that also provides um, a lot of interactive light and reflections on the, on the characters and it also allows the actors to see, to actually act to what they're actually seeing. So like, for example, there's a shot where Ryan breaks through uh, the atmosphere. He's in the X-15 and like he breaks through and what you see is a reflection on his visor and in his eyes, that is the actual CG content on the screen actually caught in camera. So like, that shot is entirely in camera. Having done that, we got so much for free, which would have been, uh, which would have been like an even bigger task in post. One of the techniques which we also used was uh, the uh, use of miniatures. Ian Hunter's team built various models at 1 6 scale, which we used for the LEM docking sequence. He also built a 1 30th scale of the Saturn V, which you see in a couple of shots, and, and that, that model was about 14, uh, 14 foot tall. The idea behind using miniatures was that if like, we ever had a shot of one of our craft as a mid shot, we would then be using a miniature at that particular size. Anything which was going to be further away, like we used CG, and anything which was like really close to camera, we had to use something far bigger to make it look believable. So like we actually used full scale practical builds and also an 80%, around 80% scale of the Gemini capsule. First man to me, was special in that, in that like we were able to use so many different techniques, so many older techniques, so brand new techniques, but then bring them all together in, into, a, into a movie which hopefully people find believable.